Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. We put a, I put a video together tonight to just briefly go over some of my communications equipment uh, that I've acquired over the last, um, well some of it's older, some of it's newer, but I just wanted to go over some of the uh, communications equipment that I have in light of hurricane season starting down here in South Florida. I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row and uh, be prepared for a, uh, it's you know, it's been since 2005 since we've really been hit with a, a bad storm, which was Hurricane Wilma. So we may be due this year for something big. So I just want to make sure I am ready with all my communications, uh, radio equipment, and batteries, backups, things of that nature, uh, antennas. Um, I just want to update everybody regarding my ham radio license. I just passed the test this past Saturday so in a few weeks I should have my call sign and be able to get on the air so uh, I'll be able to actually talk on this new uh, Wotion uh, radio uh, that I bought recently that does 2 meter and 70 centimeter uh, so dual band radio so just starting from the beginning here and I want to put this out to the YouTube community this these uh, Faraday cages I guess they're calling them are the galvanized uh, trash cans that they're, uh, I see a lot of preppers talking about saying to store your equipment in in case of an EMP. I just want to put it out there to my subscribers and those that watch my videos. Is this something that um, is in fact uh, useful to me? So this is a, uh, a six gallon can that I bought with a lid as you can see. It's galvanized and I have some equipment that I'm storing in it. Uh, so I just want to put that out there to see if this is in fact the can to get or I need to get a uh, heavier gauge or a different type or different brand. So that's one of the things I wanted to put out there tonight. The other things, uh, you know, starting here with the CB radios, if you can see my handheld CBs I've had forever. Uh, I'm, I'm in the process of upgrading. But these two uh, GE CBs that I have uh, do work. Um, I don't have a large uh, roof-mounted antenna. I'm going to purchase that when I buy the new handheld unit that I'm looking at now. But these uh, do work. I do have a car adapter for them. And so uh, for right now, I'm using them um, until I get the new ones. Regarding my Wotion ham radio, I just picked up today at Mike's Electronics, you can see here, this is Mike's Electronics down here in Fort Lauderdale, um, cost me $93.28, but I bought a, I'll get a shot of it, I bought a antenna, dual band antenna, I picked that up today, I bought a 5 inch magnet with a rubber boot uh, to mount it outside my vehicle which is right here and it comes with the uh, 17 feet of cable and then I bought the necessary uh, adapter to go from the um, mag mount this goes to the mag mount and this would uns this would go into my actual uh, radio where the radio antenna is and that way when I'm mobile I'll be able to pick up signals um, better than I am now because having the Wotion handheld in the car with just the factory antenna really cuts down on what you're able to pick up and so I'm gonna have that hooked up uh, uh, tomorrow morning with the Wotion radio my that's my right now that's my ham radio that came with uh, the charging cradle which is here I bought the extra there's an extra battery pack that's used for inside the car which these these two items hook together and then you plug this into the um, lighter adapter and you can power the radio while you're driving and this is the software cable to hook up to the computer to download and sync up your radio with the software one of the things I've done with my equipment is using this little Dymo printing label maker that I had, I printed little labels for the all my equipment for all the um, 
you know, cords and adapters and things like that and put them on because when you put everything together inside this uh, storage bin and you go to reach for it, uh, you don't know, you can get confused on different cordages and adapters. So it's one of the things I did this weekend. And then I'll store these in actual uh, Ziploc bags inside, inside of here uh, while they're in there. So that's one of the things I've done. Next item I have I want to just go over is the Standard Horizon radios that I highly recommend. I, did a, I think I did a video last year during hurricane season on these radios. I have two of them. This is the model number, HX471S. Uh, these radios are incredible. Um, I keep one at home and I carry, my, actually my wife carries one and I carry one. They're VHF Marine, which means they have the, uh, you know, the Coast Guard and all the Marine channels. It's got the Air Band, which I haven't really used yet. The MURS, which is Multiple User Radio Service, which is like, a, you know, the two-way radio service. Uh, AM FM Radio, the NOAA Weather Alert uh, stations, and then the 14 FRS channels are all part of this radio in a really well-built, small, uh, compact package that's waterproof and it also floats, um, which is one of the things down here in South Florida I would highly recommend. If you're going to have a radio <clears throat> and it's not waterproof or it doesn't float and you find yourself, uh, you know, in an evacuation type scenario and you're, you know, on a boat or on a lake or in the ocean, uh, you're going to really have to uh, think twice and pay the extra money on um, getting something that's waterproof and then a bonus that this floats too. So you can see here it says uh, submersible uh, radio. And these radios are excellent. I've had them out kayaking on the, on the water close to the beach and I pick up all the Coast Guard channels uh, with that. And I have the cradle chargers, the car adapter, the in-home plug adapters um, and then again you can see here I, I label them and I store them in Ziploc bags so when I store the cords in my um, galvanized can I have everything in one spot. Um, the only thing missing here is I did have a scanner it was very old and I got rid of it recently and I'm, the next thing on my list after my CB radios after my upgrade on the CBs is a new scanner. And then I think I'll be fairly complete with uh, communications other than maybe getting a second uh, ham radio, uh, one to keep at home, and then one to uh, travel with um, in case of an emergency. Uh, so that's the video I wanted to put out there, guys. Anybody has any uh, recommendations, any suggestions, especially on the Faraday cage in case of an EMP? You know, let me know uh, what you think. Let me know uh, maybe some of the radios you have, what you're using, what works, what doesn't work. And um, I'll keep you guys updated on the com communications. But very important, especially now with hurricane season upon us, uh, to be prepared and not to be caught uh, off guard like I was in 2005 with just a cell phone that wasn't working. So... It's Anthony, Bibles and Barbells, signing off.